M0 FXB, the new Icon 7300 Mark II model is here. What's the main appeal? Big screen, HDMI output, CW decoding. Let's get it out of the box. And big thanks to Martin Lynch uh, for delivering this uh, double boxed and in perfect condition. So let's just open up. It's quite a deep box. Look at that. It's uh, a lot deeper than the previous box, I'm sure. So we get the usual array of manuals and uh, multiple languages. Let's have a quick look. And uh, we've got the manual base looks French. Mm, German is that? Italian? And um, what's that one? Uh, Spanish? <laughs> And the basic manual, they're British, okay. Let's put that one on top. They always do this. Um, and the online manual, I believe, is in colour. So yeah, lots to, uh, to look at. I do read the manuals. I tend to, you know, not read it straight away. I tend to go back to it when I start to get a bit stuck. Got these couple of pamphlets here as well. Um, and then we have another safety, I would call it safety sort of protection, these, because they're very thick. Look at that, thick. Uh, always forget how to put these back together. Keep your double box, keep everything, because if you ever sell it, it's going to increase the value and the buyer's going to be a lot happier if you've got original items. I mean, this one's quite future-proof, I would say. I mean, people are still buying the 7300 original one and they're very happy with it. So, yeah, is that amplifier connector there? Fuses, little 3.5 jack there, and uh, some screws. Got your EMC power supply with the four pin connector. Same, same as your Yesu, really, 710, but this one has that, you know, that EMC, which is going to reduce, you know, interference. Drastically, I would say. OPC147R EMC filter and DC cable. And then your classic ICOM microphone, which has you know very good, very good reviews. Get that out of the packaging. So and is it eight? One, two, three, four, five. I'm pretty sure it's eight pin, isn't it? So more, another layer of protection there. Then, um, then oh, there goes Mazzy. Mazzy is always here. <laughs> you know when the postman comes. So another layer of protection. And we reveal the radio. So we just lift this out the box. And there it comes out. I'm not gonna, fi I'm not gonna take this off until I actually turn it on. But yeah, the front is identical apart from the blue LED and on the rear, and this is where we really get our money's worth. We've got our LAN connection, HDMI out, two extra connectors for receive antennas. They are labeled here. Uh, I'm just looking for the labeling now. We've got AL send, key, duh, duh, key, and HDMI, ACC, remote, external speak, speaker key, and SO239. Now, normally we'd say, oh, there's only one, in, you know, one antenna, but, and I'm interested to see how they'll work, and then the four pin and a nice fan. So yeah, lovely. So uh, that's just the unboxing part of this video. The full video is gonna carry on from here uh, and, and uh, turn the device on and connect it up to an antenna. So it's HF and six meters included antenna tuner and 100 watt power. HDMI connection needed for the for the uh, the screen. Thanks to Martin Lynch. That's what the box looks like. Uh, double box and keep your boxes. Look after it. And we're going to use a 30 amp power supply just in the distance there. And Oscar Mike Zero loop here, where you literally just turn this black knob at the bottom until the radio sounds loud on the right band, 
and you could, I will get some plenty stations inside this house. Okay, let's get on with the rest of the video.